sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need read for this new moon to full moon in February 2022? I'm your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998, author of Words of Grace from a Professional Witch, available on Kindle. There's a link in the description box. And creator on Patreon. We've got humans, heroes, immortals, gods, goddesses, witches over there, and adding angels at I think in April, a new tier coming to Patreon. Link in the description box. Because uh, I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions, but you can call me Mel. Hi. <laughs> My fellow Earth Signs Virgo that I am, always down to help a uh, fellow Earth Sign. Uh, and uh, we're about to do that. Let's talk about it. If you're new to the channel, a five card draw is just one card from five different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints through these five divination systems about a specific astrological timeline. In this case, a waxing moon from new to full. I do the seven card draw shadow read for the waning from full to new. So you can check those out too. There's a playlist for all of the Taurus reads at the end of this. It pops up on the screen or you can just go look at it on my channel. Uh, and these five uh, decks also represent the five magical elements. Fire, earth, air, water, and spirit. Should you be so inclined to do intention work, spell work, the five magical elements, bringing those into alignment usually makes for a uh, good intention slash a spell work. Uh, but we are looking at, of course, planting a seed at new moon, watching it grow to full at the full moon. And let's look at that. A two-week period. The new moon in Aquarius, Tuesday, February 1st, uh, 12.45 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm in New York. It's also in bulk, midwinter, the midway point between winter solstice and uh, spring equinox between Yule and Ostar comes in bulk. The lambing, the sheeps give birth to the to, 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 to baby lambs at this time of year. Freezing cold, but you know, that's uh, uh, Western, uh, Western Europe, right? <laughs> you know, uh, the British Isles, the UK and all that. Uh, if you're doing the Celtic thing, but even if you're not, it's uh, 15 degrees. Uh, uh, the the sun is 15 degrees in. I can't believe I just uh, Aquarius. Obvious. We've got a new moon and a high holy day at the same time. Rock. And if you'd like, my book Words of Grace aligns uh, the chakras with the the high holy days and all that stuff. Anyway, uh, and then we're looking at. The full moon uh, in Leo, Wednesday, February 16th, 11.56 a.m. A little early in the day for me to be doing full moon magic. I'll probably do mine on the evening before on that Tuesday, but you do you. Other than that, it is a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Really, three out of five cards, four out of five cards make sense. That's a good general read, but that's why you might want to check your other signs to get more information about the same thing that you're building, expanding, attracting, you know, the waxing part of it, uh, or maybe another situation that's going on simultaneously because we all got more than one thing going on. So... Other than that, both feet on the floor, if you can. Focus on your breath, if you will. I will do the same to give you the clarity, guidance, and grace that I can. Because that's what I'm built for, apparently, and I'm glad to be doing it. Uh, so I guess that's about it. Please take a nice deep breath. And find that still point. Ground yourself. Because here we go. Uh, we're going to start with the Element of Fire using the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Lovely deck here, giving you little fragments uh, to help you shape your Element of Fire. So let's call upon... Let I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism for the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the magical fragment to help them shape and hone their element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire, this new to full in February. Psychic protection. Around me now a shield of gold 
protecting me strong and bold for the well-being of all with harm to none as I will it's so let it be done there's a spell for you right there now psychic protection the word psyche if you go to the original Greek means soul there's a goddess named psyche she ended up marrying Eros the god of love son of Aphrodite it's part of the mythic tarot if you have the deck or familiar with it the suit of cups tells that uh, so, you know, soul protection, right? The soul is immortal, is eternal. Uh, so it's not so much that that needs the protection, but that that vibrational energy field. And very much a, uh, a Taurus thing, right? To, so that you, second house Taurus, life values, right? That you're able to think for yourself and feel for yourself and be in and waxing that, building that protection. Like just from the psychic free radicals in the air, the general negativity, what you're seeing on the news. But let's go a little bit deeper. That's your element of fire. The Crystal Oracle, Tony Carmine Salerno's deck, one of many, uh, would be the element of Earth, and you're an Earth sign, so whether you have the stone indicated or not is moot as far as I'm concerned. You can always grab a clear quartz and program it with whatever the energy uh, the Oracle uh, indicates. Please take a nice deep breath. Feet on the floor, Mark. Or Virgo, I have a tendency to cross my legs. <laughs> Big deal. Oh, so I call upon my beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the Archangels of the North Powers of Earth, the Archangel of Lions, literally my name. So please, one card in clarity. What is the perfect, helpful, as specific as possible crystal oracle for the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, watching this video, receiving this reading, their element of Earth that fuels the fire that manifests in our heart's desire, bringing it into form, but also uh, maybe as a touchstone, if they can get a hold of the stone or if they already have it. What do you got for them in perfect resonance, uh, this uh, new to full, with that psychic protection, February 2022? Oh, Australian my eye. Oi! I love Australian men. The British man. I can't help it. It's the accent. It's the accent. I'm well aware. I am very verbal. In case you couldn't pick your uh, pick that up. Um, all right, this makes sense. Australian agate. Really, really pretty stone. All sorts of different kind of agates, but you know. How do you know it's from Australia unless you're there? Uh, uh, perception, strength courage, stamina, very Taurus vibe on that, I'm going to say. Your power of perception, along with your mental and physical body, are presently being strengthened with psychic protection as what you want. You've got, it feels like your element of earth is on lock here. You're pretty good. This will give you the courage and energy required to tackle what seems at present to be a complex and somewhat insurmountable problem. So this is a waxing thing about stamina and endurance, but it would make sense with that psychic protection that you're not sucking up anybody else's uh, negativity point of view, their wounds. If you're an empath, that's helpful, but empathy is a very, very powerful intuitive healing skill. Uh, this problem involves someone who is incompatible with your ideas and principles. Well, how dare they? Uh, you are being urged to stand your ground. Taurus seems to not have a problem with that. Yet keep your calm. Mm. <laughs> Perception, strength, courage, and stamina. Don't allow yourself to be psychologically or emotionally bullied. Psychic protection. Uh, all concerned will soon realize the truth that you have already known for quite some time that this particular person is simply not the person they present themselves to be. Perception is not reality. The sun does not rise in the east and set in the west. It just looks that way. Planet turns, darlings. You know that. Everybody knows that. And yet, you know, we take that to be fact. That the sun rises. If we said the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west, that would be a fact. Uh, but perception is not reality. So, there may be some lies, illusions, deceptions, and delusions on the table uh, here for you. And to be able to, you know, have the stamina, the calm, to just know not as all as, as it seems. 
Mm. All right, element of air. I think with perception is going to be very powerful here. Healing with the angel's oracle. Uh, the air that feeds the fire. Air can exist independently without fire, but fire cannot exist without air. So what are you thinking, right? What are the thoughts? It's the element of air here, uh, particularly with psychic protection. I think this makes sense. Please take a nice deep breath. Well, psychic protection and perception. Yeah, like what are you thinking? Not what are you thinking, but you know, if if don't doubt yourself too much. If you really feel like someone's not um, being authentic, breathe. As I call upon the angels and archangels of Earth, the sign of Taurus, powers of the North, the Aerialites, the Uriolites, the Aurealites. Please, one card in clarity for the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, sign watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the piece of clarity, guidance, and grace that you have for them, for the element of air to stoke the fire uh, of psychic protection so they can manifest what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their heart desires in this situation? They've got balance. I think the healing angel of balance here is going to help you stay calm as you might be the only one who knows the tea, the truth, the tea, the shade, and the pink lemonade in this situation. Other people might be doubting you. That might be getting the best of you. So think, what would the healing angels of balance do? Like, what would their function be? Obviously helping you keep your balance, but not just physically. When psychic protection comes in, it's like, I'm going to be the still point in the shit storm. Let them say what they're going to say. I can feel what's truth here. The people's perceptions are off. There may be some gaslighting involved. Now, gaslighting is not a new term. It's actually based on a movie. Gaslight or gaslighting? I think it's gaslight. Gaslighting, I forget. Uh, and, and it is about one person trying to drive another person crazy by giving them false information. And, and when they're like, but no, no, it's that way. They're like, no, oh, honey, you just need a nap, right? It goes on all, all day, every day around the planet and has been for a really long time. So to find your balance. Oh, but I know what's true here. I know the truth. And I don't have to say anything until it's time to say something. Um, and that you say it in a balanced, fair way. In other words, you're not... There, there are two speeds to Taurus. Stop, right? Stubborn. And charge, right? So to find the balance there for that, of course, that would depend on whether you're a Taurus sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, right? Um, there is something of value here on the table for you, certainly. Otherwise, I don't think you would want to protect yourself so much from what other people are thinking, feeling, and saying. Uh, so keeping your balance is key. And it's simple. The angels can't come in unless we ask them. They're like that. It's called the Cosmic Law of Non-Intervention. Very Star Trek Prime Directive, right? So that's why the prayer can be simply, help, that's enough. <laughs> it's like you have to say help. But I call upon the Healing Angels of Balance to help me keep myself coherent uh, through this situation where I might be being gaslighted or maybe other people are being gaslighted about me uh, the, and I know the truth and the truth will set them free. I'll probably piss them off first, though. And that's why people lie, because they're afraid that the truth um, will not be in their favor. But do keep in mind, at the time of this recording, Mercury and Venus are retrograde. May the odds be ever in your flavor. Breathe. Whispers of Love Oracle, the voices of the higher selves of all involved. So not just you, not just the other people involved. Also the person who may not be so very authentic here. Right, let's have a look see duxy Please take a nice deep breath. This one takes a sec. Still point. As I call upon the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above. What is the whisper of love for the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and watching this video, receiving this reading, their element of water, the emotion, the energy in motion, huh? Just that really intense clue, tip, and hint that they need here. Make it specific for them. For uh, they uh, desire psychic protection to make their way through this with that Australian agate, that perception, that balance, that calm, that stamina, that stability of which they are known for. And with the healing angels of balance, this is like both feet on the floor, right? Very, very much standing their ground, not charging ahead, but maybe 
they will at some point here. So what's the piece of information, inspiration, insight most needed for the Taurus this new to full February 2021 in this tricky situation? Show simple acts of kindness. Oh boy. Show some, <laughs> got a couple of different vibes on that. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Just be careful with killing them with kindness. Because it's a form of gaslighting. Are you the gaslighter? I don't think you are. <laughs> you wouldn't be watching my channel. I mean, it's one thing if you really believe something's true, right? Or, or worse, the truth, and it's not, right? We all go through that. It's learning her, right? Santa Claus? Really? <laughs> it was a movie, I believe. Uh, the Santa Claus. Uh, uh, so to show simple acts of kindness, if you know there is somebody gaslighting you, if you know that there is somebody who is duplicitous, that's a good word, um, being kind to them from a heart-centered place of balance and saying, well, they're doing this because they're terrified. Nobody lies unless there's fear. Or jealousy, which might be another thing, right? They're not seeing clearly jealousy. Envy, the deadly sin of the third eye. It's in my book, Words of Grace, but I learned it from Carolyn Mace, Anatomy of the Spirit, brilliant book. So the grace of knowledge and the grace of clarity in the third eye. And to kind of get, this has nothing to do with me. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't need to know. But I'm going to do little simple acts of kindness. Maybe to the other people involved, but if you do it directly to this person authentically, it's going to protect you in a way like nothing else. Um, because energy can only be stolen. It cannot be freely accepted. Well, unless it's a healthy exchange, right? Like vampires. Oh, uh, watch my video on YouTube. Uh, it's a two-hour lecture. I did a class called Vampires and Witches, and we look at psychic vampires and, and all that stuff. And, and if there is a codependent relationship in, in play here, kindness may be the only way through, but only you have to feel good about your choices no matter what anybody else does, <coughs> particularly Earth signs, I'm going to say to that. Uh, so let's get your card. Pardon me. <coughs> uh, it's a little dusty in here today. Mm, kitty litter <laughs> in the air. Uh, my three boys. The Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn, uh is your card of spirit. So imagine you get an Australian agate or something similar. You cast the spell for psychic protection, set the intention, calling in the angels of balance as a simple act of kindness, maybe even to yourself to get it going. This would be to energize it. Just say it every day for 14 days, whatever it may be. And this is usually where shit gets really uh, specific. Please take a nice deep breath. As I call upon the ascended masters... General Assembly, although if someone's really gaslighting somebody here or something similar, probably a soul contract as well. You do you. Please, one card in clarity. What is the card for spirit? The perfect healing mantra for the Taurus Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Watching this video, receiving this reading, wanting to cast for psychic protection with that Australian agate. I keep hearing perception is key here, right? Perception is not reality. How others are perceiving the Taurus, how the Taurus is perceiving others in this situation seems to be key. But with that calmness, that stability, that stamina to endure without ripping anybody's head off or goring them with the horns, and hence the healing angels of balance there, helping them stay balanced, physically balanced, mentally balanced, emotionally balanced, spiritually balanced, uh, so that they can show simple acts of kindness, because that transforms them as well as others in the best way, even little by little. So what do you got for them? The perfect healing mantra for them to work this new to full February 2022. Uh, I love it. Grounding my energy. It is safe to be in my body. This makes sense, right? This totally clicks together in a lovely way. This is one, I mean, I have a lot of favorite mantras in this deck. This is one I do often as an earth sign Virgo that I am. It's safe to be in my body, right? It is safe to be in my body, allows you to be in the present moment, and that's why I am going to um, read from the little bookie book. It's not terribly long. But I think for earth signs in particular, we need to remember this. We need to remember that it's safe to be in my body. 
Uh, when your energy is grounded, you're no longer uh, wrestling with the pain of the past or chasing after potential future outcomes. It's essentially a be here now mantra. Uh, you dare to demonstrate your very best attributes and qualities no matter how you are perceived or received by others, particularly if you're dealing with somebody who's being duplicitous, to offer simple acts of kindness, right? These simple, teeny, tiny little acts of kindness, being authentic no matter what they do. They might think they have the upper hand, but do they? Uh, with your energy grounded, your mind can relax as your body becomes a more enjoyable environment to inhabit. So I think that really speaks of this Australian uh, agate vibe there of really changing your perception. It's like, I am going to demonstrate the best of who I am and show my second house life values, what's important to me. Teach by example, even if there's a little vafanculo in there, you know what I mean? It's okay. <laughs> we're all we're all on a journey here. But that psychic protection, it does make sense. It's safe to be in my body. Even if I'm feeling other people's stuff going on, it, mm, thrice times three and back at the the shit you say hits you, not me. For the well-being of all of them. <laughs> May you twist and turn, writhe and burn. For the well-being of all with harm to none. It doesn't work like that, I wish. Um, this mantra is ideal for uh, replacing compulsive thoughts. Well, what are they thinking? What are they doing? Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Uh, releasing addictive behavior, which might be blow up. Now burn down the village. That might be the way you deal with it. Usually it's like, not this time. This time we're going to play it differently. And finding stability. And I think with balance, right? Stability, stamina. But those simple acts of kindness, I think, are going to um, throw off whoever the saboteur is here. Whoever that duplicitous character is on the stage in this situation. I'm going to definitely suggest checking your other signs to get more info on this. But let's give you the blessing. I put it all together in a blessing every single time because uh, that's what I came here to do in this life. Please take a nice deep breath. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Taurus collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, watching this video, receiving this reading, it looks like we're doing some serious protection magic here for the Taurus this new to full February 2022. So may they be uh, blessed by grounding their energy because it's safe to be in their body so that they can show those simple acts of kindness because a simple act of kindness can energize them and bring happiness to those around them but they're going to need the healing angels of balance to keep them mentally balanced emotionally balanced physically balanced spiritually balanced and all of the holistic model physical emotional mental spiritual in alignment in balance and certainly that that vibe of the Australian agate, that they're able to see the difference between perception and reality in this situation, how other people's are being, other people's, how other people are being perceived, how they are perceiving others, hence that angel of balance coming in, sort of cl clicking things into focus a little bit more, seeing reality rather than just perception. And so that they can manifest the psychic protection uh, that they need uh, in this situation, dealing with perhaps what is uh, some toxicity, some lies, illusions, deceptions, and delusions. Breathe. That around them now a shield of gold protecting them, strong and bold for the well-being of all and with harm to none, as we all will it. So let it be done. So let it be. And so it is. Ooh, that's an earth sign read. I love this for you, though. So grab a rock. I don't care. Grab something outside. Doesn't matter. You know uh, what to cast for. Just remember it is safe to be in your body and that you're not your body. You are a spirit, a soul that was chosen to come and incarnate and play a role as a human during a time of intense gaslighting on all different levels. So you have at it. And if you want a private read, there is a video in the description box uh, here on YouTube, booking a reading with Mal. 
But if you liked this video, if it, if it hit for you, hit the thumbs up, please. It helps other signs find it. It helps other Torians find it for sure. Uh, and certainly if you feel like commenting, go right ahead and have at it. I do love the comment section when I love the comment section. And certainly if you want more of me, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell because I'm putting these out when they're done. I'm not holding myself to a tough schedule anymore. It burnt me out, right? But what doesn't burnt me out is when people come Patreon, on Patreon. I'm having such a field day there. I went to Starbucks today, saw somebody that I've known there for years. They're like, oh, you're on Patreon. Oh. Lovely little convo. Building a lovely little community over there. And believe me, every tier is getting benefits that uh, no one's uh, no one's complained just yet. So I'm having a field day over there. So thank you so much for watching. And honestly, my Earth signs, we're the hardest working. We are, but we can all be a little bit more on the stubborn side. So take the time that you need to wax this for yourself, for your well-being, and for the well-being of all. Hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.